Um, so when dealing with division, now we have division. So there's actually two different ways I want you guys to be able to look at this problem. The first thing, uh, Zach, that we could always do is simplify. If we just simplify, 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 no matter what the operation is, we can just simplify. Well, how do I simplify the square root of 90? I can rewrite that as the square root of 9 times 10 over the square root of 2. Right? So that becomes 3 square root of 10 over the square root of 2. Now, I'll finish this problem in just a second. The other way we can look at this is to understand that the square root of 90 divided by the square root of 2, we can rewrite that as the square root of 90 over 2. It's the same thing. Same thing. Just like the square root of 2 times the square root of 3 is equal to the square root of 2 times 3. Okay? Just understand that, remember, we can remember I said we can multiply and divide our radicands? So if we're multiplying and dividing our radicands, we can just put them under the same radical. So 90 divided by 2 is 45, which then that goes to uh, 9 times 5. which is 3 square root of 5. No, yes. Nine times 10, 3. Did I do something wrong? What did I mess up? Ninety divided by two is forty-five. No. Um, oh yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. So yes, then you can simplify this to three square root of five. You can divide those two into each other. Correct. And you get the exact same answer. Huh? Yeah. So you'd get the exact same answer. 